In this video I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to rotoscope in Procreate 5. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And I got some questions uh, about video about rotoscoping in uh, Procreate. I did a while back. And I'm going to answer some of these questions and give you some tips and tricks on, you know, how to rotoscope in Procreate 5. I got several questions on that video and that video was still done, I think, in Procreate 4.3. We're now at Procreate 5 and there's uh, a lot more uh, features doing animation in Procreate. And one of the questions was by Jikke Peters. I hope you I pronounce your name right. Can you change the video to other size than screen size? It goes in screen size, but I want a different size. The best way to import a video into Procreate is by using the Files app. When you open the Files app, it's best you know to record your video at the right dimensions and with the frames per second you want. When you import it into the Files app in the Procreate folder and you go to on my iPad and then uh, look for the folder from Procreate and I've made a video which is 1920 by 1080 pixels at 25 frames per second. It's called Ink Hit and when you press on it, it will be imported into Procreate with the right dimensions and also with the right frames per second. And you can check that out if you go to Actions, Canvas Information. You see that it is at 1920 by 1080 pixels. And if you want to check the frames per second, just go to the settings at the play bar of the Animation Assist. And you see that it is at 25 frames per second. This is only, uh, I think, one second, a little bit more. So it has... 27, fr uh, 27 frames and, or 27 layers. I also created um, another uh, video just for uh, just to show you that it really works. It's um, a video of my cat and it's 4K video at 60 frames per second. And I'm just gonna press on it and it will be imported into Procreate. Only when you're doing 4K video, you know, it takes up a lot of space. And you can only, if you do it at 4K, there's only 60 frames you can uh, import. And then there's nothing you can do about it. But because there's only 60 frames uh, that can be imported into the Procreate file. And it's a very large file. And I'm just gonna show you um, the canvas information. You see that it is uh, pixel width at 3840 pixels and pixel height at 2160. And when you check the frames per second, it's set to max. And the maximum frames uh, you can import into Procreate is 60 frames per second. And you can see that it has 60 layers or 60 frames. When you check the canvas information and the layers, you see that the maximum layers is 60 and the layers used is 60. So then there's you know nothing you can do about... Um, uh, this file or you have to delete every other frame so that you still can you know do some rotoscoping. The second question is by Serena Raven and thanks for your question. Thanks for the tutorial the first time I did this it imported at 26 frames uh, per second it was really good but the second time I did this it imported at the maximum FPS and only included a split second. I do not know how to change the frame rate without slowing the animation down or deleting the frames in between, which gives me the same amount to footage anyway. 
Does anyone else have this problem? I'm just wondering if I'm missing something. So the second question by Sabrina is almost the, the same question, but um, it's also about, you know, how to delete frames. So I'm just going back to the, the file with the 60 frames and there's nothing you can do about it, but you can delete every other frame. So what you can do is select all the frames So every other frame and then delete them. So then you have these layers left to do the rotoscoping. And you can just select all of these uh, layers and then press delete when you have finished selecting all of these layers. So press delete and you know now you have when you check the canvas information the layers the maximum layers is 60 layers used 30 and you still have 30 layers to do some uh, rotoscoping and you can of course because it's uh, the original um, video size is at 60 frames per second what you now can do is you're animating on two, so every other frame you make um, an animation frame. So you can set it to 30 frames per second. So it's still the same length or the same um, speed because you just deleted every other frame. So when you play it, it's still... Uh, at the same frame rate and then you can export it and then import it into um, a software like Premiere or Final Cut Pro and you know then import it into a 60 frames per second uh, segment or just go with uh, 30 frames per second. And the third question is by Afton Jones. Great video, just a question, do you know how to use onion skin on frames when you have imported a video, like you did in this video? It doesn't seem to allow the same process of using onion skins as it does when you draw frames without having imported video. I want to rotoscope an effect that gets larger as it leaves, but would love the ability to onion skin the previous frame in order to get it more exact. There's a way to do it, and I'm just gonna show you. Uh, the way I should do it, you know, I'm just gonna open up the file I already did some uh, animation with, but I'm just going to, for the purpose of this video, do it uh, again. Um, first thing you need to do is just to trace everything, or if you want to make something bigger or make it larger, you can do that in software, so to zoom in and then do the rotoscoping, or you can do it by hand, and that's a bit tedious because if you want to, you know, zoom in, you have to um, use the transform tool to make uh, the file a little bit bigger to zoom in, you know, each frame, and then, you know, you don't get a smooth transition. But the other question is how you can, you know, uh, rotoscope with the onion skinning. The best way to do uh, rotoscoping um, for me, I did some of um, some shots in rotoscoping using this uh, file. Uh, what I do is I create a new frame and then select both of the frames and make it into a group. So a group is also recognized as one frame. And then I just select the group and also select the background layer. And then, you know, I don't use the onion skinning. I just change the opacity of the frame and then I do the rotoscoping. I do that for each frame. Then go to the next frame, 
make it into a group. Deselect the other group. And start tracing again. What you can do is also set the uninskinning to one frame and then only select the layer you just traced and select the color secondary frame so you can see it in red. In that way you can see uh, the rotoscoping you did in the previous frame. If you have any questions about you know drawing in Procreate, just leave them in the comments down below and maybe I'll answer it in the next Q&A video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.